and of course I lied when I said that I'll uh, just clean that one piece and put it back together because with these things of course as soon as you start uh, there is another uh, set of I don't know if you can see it on there yeah just you can just about see the bolts there's another gib strip in here and then of course this attaches to the main um, to the main screw for threading and so on and of course we're now starting to get into the territory of when I was 16 and I uh, completely took apart I had a 185 off-road bike which one bright day I decided needed a full engine stripped down and clean and that's what I did and I put it back together and like any mechanic will tell you there was a couple of bolts left over because they just always put extras <laughs> Now, the thing that made me feel better about that is that, although I was only 16, I took it all apart again, and I put them all back in, and I didn't have any bolts left over. Um, but what made me feel better is that many years later, my friend Alfredo, who's now passed away, unfortunately, okay, this bolt didn't seem to attach to absolutely anything, so that's a little bit worrying. Um, told me the same thing. He said, you know, they always put extra bolts in engines, that's why I don't worry about it. So, uh, but what's happening here now is I'm starting to take off all the other bits because I'm thinking, well, this has got to be cleaned up. I can't deal with that. You know, I can't just leave that like as it is. And yeah, sure enough, the minute you start doing that, you run into more problems. Uh -huh. So there's another set here to take out. This is very interesting. That bolt that's supposed to hold this metal strip on there doesn't hold on to anything. This, of course, needs to come out in order to let... Uh, oh, this could be one of those Chinese dimensions. Where did I put the... And uh, of course, as you keep doing this, you, if you are very organized, as, as you can see, I am from my table here. Uh, invariably, you can lose parts, but we won't talk about that because I'm so organized. That's not going to happen. Yeah. So of course, this is one of those intermediate numbers that. Only China possibly has, but let me see if I don't have that. Use one. I might just do the trick. Chinese dimension. So the reason I'm taking this off is because that's the only way I think to release. So yeah, I'm gonna have to take this out as well. And this looks like this gib strip is no better than the others because there's some resistance on this first bolt. I'm probably going to have to re-index all the gib strips. And I'll uh, spare you the details of me unbolting that. That's just pointless. Now, I need to show you the kind of complicated things that happen. So I want to take this piece out to clean it because obviously the slides are going to, the, the main carriage goes on there. In order to do that, I have to take these bolts out to move away this thing, which is still connected to the main screw moved it off to the side but then there's some bolts down here once you take these bolts out though you're going to take these bolts out in order to take those bolts out you really got to move this back shield which is a good thing I did because it's only held in by these three bolts but let me show you where one of those three bolts goes it goes right there to hold the shield up so when this is there, can you see that that 
that there where my thumb is now connects and keeps this plate in. However, when that bolt is there, um, the chuck, you see that bolt of the chuck, zips past it at about maybe one millimeter away, which, um, you know, one millimeter is enough, but I'm not very happy with that. So I'm glad I did that so that I'm going to figure out uh, a safer way to put that bolt back in there or maybe just do away with it or something. So this is how it goes. And of course, I have to try and remember where all the bolts go back in, which is easier said than done. I'll get back to you once I'm a bit further along. And I have now taken off the main piece of the ways. You'll see I've uh, marked it with two little uh, lines that so that I know it goes with this piece. Here, you'll see the two little lines match the two little lines. And I've also written up. Uh, because this has got a, a cut in there, it's important to know exactly how you put it in. Same thing with the back one. But the reason I wanted to take this off is to clean it because the ways are pretty much the most important part of the of the um, of the lathe. And also, I wanted to see if once I've cleared the the ways properly, if you remember, there's this pitting over here which you can't see from from that point of view but I want to see whether I can smooth that out maybe with some sandpaper I don't know I'm, I'm I'm very hesitant to do anything that will damage the ways but I want to try and clean that up if I can anyway I'm gonna go off to clean this with some WD-40 paper etc and I'll get back when I I need to try and put this back together today before I forget where everything goes so that's gonna be an aim as well there's also some deburring required on these um, on these holes here, which you know th this is pretty much in contact with the ways, and uh, they're not deburred very well. But I haven't got my deburring tool, the exact one yet. But don't worry, I would I would never do this with a, with a screwdriver. That would just be wrong. I would never use a screwdriver to deburr the holes that go almost directly onto the ways that would just be wrong I would never do that um, just using a screwdriver for this sort of thing would be unconscionable um, no 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 real machinist would ever do that so I'm not doing that you'll notice I'm not using a screwdriver to deburr these holes um, if people like blondie hacks suddenly you know get heart attacks uh, it, it could just be a case of suddenly and uh, not necessarily, you know, connected to what I'm doing here. You know, if Glau 42 and old Tony and all those guys suddenly start having seizures shortly after watching my videos, uh, which I'm, I'm sure they're, you know, with bated breath waiting for my next installment. Right, I'll just carry on this off camera so not to traumatize any machinists any further. Okay, I've now given this main carriage quite a clean and I have actually uh, tried to deburr the, the most important sort of holes. But I use this tool here which is actually um, a chainsaw file and you can see it's got a bit of filing there. Now the problem is this part which is where you stick it into where it's supposed to go, you, you, you can't, it doesn't have um, the, the, the gritty bit but it's it's enough that you know using it as a as a kind of a push tool I smooth it around these edges and it's definitely made a difference uh, when I pass my finger over these now it, they don't catch on any little burrs and so on um, these ones are a bit trickier because they're inside the little valley but I managed to get to them as well and these ones so it's all pretty smooth now. I've even done the big holes. These ones I can get to the part that's uh, it's got the file on it. So I did just gently deburred the edges of these things. And yeah, I'm, I'm starting to realize that you really need to take this thing apart, every single piece of it. Um, there is the little rubber bit, of course, which is supposed to keep the ways clean from chips and so on but it had so much dirt and gritty stuff in here that it really does need a wipe and of course the same on the other side um, and sometimes even though it looks clean it isn't so go over it again until all the grit comes off 
um, and when it does you know you've got to re-oil it of course um, the interesting thing is of course you can see all these oiling points there 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 and there and on the other side they go directly on the ways so when you put a bit of oil there that oils the ways underneath this and uh, now I'm gonna try and put it all back together before I forget where everything goes Oh, one more thing while I had the ways clear I um, had a little bit of a go at trying to fix this um, pitting and it's much improved it's a lot smaller than it was so a couple of little scratches on there but um, let's just say that instead of having something that's poking out now I don't know if you can pick this up you know before I had like little ridges on here and now it's all smooth or a dip so hopefully the little dip won't affect the um, the carriage too much at all and that's that so here it is in all its glory you'll notice how everything is carefully placed so as uh, you know to know exactly where everything goes back together yeah right okay that's why I need to do this quickly